once upon a time, in the far-off land of Fortunia, there lived a noble king and his lovely young queen who lacked but one blessing to make their joy complete. Not you. Come out of there. <clears throat> I beg your pardon, ladies and gentlemen. The good queen longed for a child to love, whose skin would be as white as snow, her lips as red as rubies, and her hair as black as ebony. Who let you in? My hair used to be black. Out before you get a pair of eyes to... Really, this is most... Sorry. The queen's prayers were answered. A child as delicate as a snowflake was born to her, and they called her Snow White. But the king's joy was swiftly changed to grief, for his frail and gentle queen was taken from him and summoned back to heaven. The king mourned her with a broken heart, but at last, in submission to the pleading of his people, he wed again. But alas, the new queen's heart was cold and evil. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is fairest of them all? Only truth reflects in me. No one lives as fair as thee. But she reckoned without Snow White, who even in childhood showed the promise of a beauty that would one day far outshine the queen. Now it so happened that there dwelt in the neighboring kingdom of Bravuria a fearless and handsome prince. He said handsome. Yeah, get out of Hold on, I'm a set of... Gentlemen, I must protest. This is Prince Charming, the hero of our story, destined to love Snow White with all his heart. Come back here, you! That belongs to me! Give it to me! Gentlemen, gentlemen, not in front of royalty. No, you don't. <sighs> a thousand pardons, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, wait for me. And if, by now, you're wondering what on earth the Three Stooges have to do with the fairy tale of Snow White, it's very simple. In this version, we're telling the story of Snow White and the Three Stooges. <laughs> snake with his white fingers, and she knew her greatest joy as she skimmed across its surface. Only her father's love gave her as much delight. With the passing of each birthday, her beloved skate seemed to lend her an enchantment. As the beauty of Snow White blossomed, indeed her heart could want for nothing.
Unbeknown to Snow White, she had already incurred the bitter jealousy of her stepmother, the Queen. So is Snow White. Have a care. suffered a sudden attack. Please come. Come, Your Highness, quickly. Father? Come closer, my dear. Oh, Father, I'm afraid. <laughs> my beloved child. The time has come for me to leave you, but not in sorrow, for I leave you in loving hands. Yes, my dearest husband. Swear to me that you will protect Snow White and love her as I have until she comes of age and ascends the throne. I shall live only for her, my lord. I swear it. And Olga, you will be faithful also? To my last breath, Your Majesty. We are pleased. <laughs> sorrows, and not for my sake, for I die content. Oh, no. No, Father. <laughs> out of it once I had signed the wizard's oath to champion your call. I'm not exactly helpless without you, Count Ogre. Far from it, dear lady. It was entirely your idea to have young Prince Charming discreetly done away with. I merely saw to it that your orders were executed. You needn't make it sound as if I enjoy annihilating children. I only do it when it's Unavoidable. Of course, Your Majesty. Your fierce ambition conceals the tenderest of hearts. Yes, I must confess, my conscience is always clear. Exactly. 
If their idiots of fathers had not betrothed Prince Charming to Snow White in childhood, why, the lad would be alive today. Don't be a fool. He had to die. Once he'd married Snow White, he would have been king of two kingdoms and I would have been queen of none. How bitter for you that Snow White will still ascend the throne when she comes of age, married or not. If that is allowed to happen, let me remind you that my defeat is your defeat. All I ever counsel is patience and caution, dear lady. You are sometimes too impetuous. I am a queen, and I intend to remain the queen. The world will look on Snow White's face no more. <laughs> over you, Your Highness, until you're free and happy again. Thank you, Ralph. Never lose hope, Your Highness. That day will come. set up camp. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Now hear this, all you good people. I am Quinto the Magnificent, Quinto the Stupendous, Quinto the Colossal. Just a moment. Aren't you supposed to introduce me first? Who let this over vocal yokel in? I like that. If it weren't for me, you'd be dumb. <laughs> if you do the talking for both of us, I'll be even dumber. <laughs> However, this oaf to my left is Quattro, folks. My fourth stooge. I beg your pardon. You're our fifth stooge. Hence your name, Quinto. I knew he was sulking about the billing. <laughs> These amateurs, they'll do it every time. Unhand me, Farlet. Unhand me. I abdicate. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. And now. In response to flattering and overwhelming requests, I shall attempt a feat of horticultural leisure domain so complicated that it has never, as of this moment, been successfully accomplished. Observe, there is nothing concealed beneath my cloak, no sleeves, trap doors, mirrors, springs, or wires. Now, I hold before you this lifeless withered twig, which I shall endeavor to bring into full blossom right before your very eyes. Watch me closely. Closely now, gentlemen. Hi, hi, alas, I. Presto! Ha, ha, to the man of born, my boy. You're better than we ever were. Oh. Yeah, but he cheats, he's got brains. <laughs> he's got more than that, he's got style. Yes, and that's what's been worrying me. You know, you're too good for a crummy old act like ours. What are you talking about? You're the best friends I have in the world. Just the same, you have class, and we don't. What you need now is to study with the big timers, the aristocrats. I don't need to learn anything that you three can't teach me. No, like Mo says, we're nobody. Uh, not to me. Of course we are. Look at all the times we go hungry. And the times we've been incarcerated, endurance vile. Not to mention being thrown in the clink. Ignoramus, he just got through saying that. 
Please don't misunderstand us, Quattro. We don't want to lose you. But we never told you the real story of how we found you. Why not? Is it something to be ashamed of? No, no. We just never seem to get around to it. But there's no time like the present. Come over here, son. I want to talk to you. Sit down. It happened about 14 years ago in Fortunia. They were celebrating the betrothal of Princess Snow White to Prince Charming of uh, Bruva Bra Bravuria. Not a real marriage, you understand. She was only three and he was about seven. But that's the way they do it in royal circles. That's why we were appearing in the town. We could just as well have stayed home. Business was terrible. Yeah, so was the stuff we were selling. <laughs> We were doing the old rabbit trick, remember? Oh. <laughs> Thank you, good people, one and all. At your pleasure, Professor. Your servant, Maestro. Behold, the secret of the ages. Yuck. The recipe of which was imparted to my illustrious partner and myself by an incumbent judo expert in gratitude for saving his life when threatened by an emotionally unstable cobra on the far-flung mud banks of the flooded Hoogly. Now, as a river, the Hoogly is only Oogly. <laughs> <laughs> but this unique concoction not only cures all of the known afflictions that confound mankind, but it reduces weight, kills moths, and restores the hair. Pardon me. Aren't you the gentleman that purchased a bottle of yuck from us in this identical metropolis a year ago? Your assumption is correct, sir. Won't you step up here, kind sir? You can do the world a noble service. Tell these good people how many bottles of yuck it took to raise that magnificent tonsor on your bonds. Not even one. I just dabbed it with the moistened cork. Ah, you see, folks? Ah, you're a pack of liars. I bought a bottle of that poison last year, and look what it did to me. <laughs> Ignore him, folks. Look what Yuck did for my friend here. Hair in such abundance that the chipmunks nest there in the mating season. <laughs> now then, move by. Step right up, folks. Don't crowd. One drop nick a bottle, two for a drip nick. Become the envy of your friend. Surprise your wife. You, lady, grow a beard and surprise your husband. <laughs> <laughs> you? How about you, man? How about you? What's the matter? You're going to take that old Hasey's word against ours? Why, before I started using you, I was bolder than he is. What's more, I can prove it. Look. Oh. I, I told you they were fakers. Yeah, the liars. Let's turn for the liars. Yeah, the liars. They chased us all the way to the river, but we finally managed to give them the slip by the skin of our teeth. And that's when we first saw you. Bite me, would you? I'll fix you. He's alive, but look at that lump on his head. He must have tripped and hit it on that rock. We'd better get him away from here quick. Give me a hand. Take it easy, Carly. Okay. Okay. Easy. Go ahead. That's it. <laughs> All things considered, we thought it was best to get out of town, and as soon as possible. He's been unconscious an awful long while. I'm worried. He's going to be all right, aren't you, Sonny?
Look, he's opening his eyes. Don't let our faces scare you, Sonny. We, your friends. What happened? You hurt your head on a rock. Tell us where you live, Sonny. We'll take you home. You want to go home, don't you? Tell us your name, old timer. Uh, What's your name? Uh, I don't know. Who was that big man trying to hurt you? Man? Never mind, it's not important. You just rest. We'll look out for you. Do you remember who you are? so confused he, he thinks there's more than one of them you'd lost your memory you see we couldn't leave you there you were in danger we tried to find your family and couldn't so we adopted you and you've never given us a moment's regret and i don't intend to in the future either the future my boy is what we're talking about supposing you suddenly remember your real name who your people are well suppose i do but to whom is your first duty? To you. That's whom. And our first duty is to see that you take your rightful place in the world. I'm sorry, various and assorted fathers, but uh, you won't get rid of me that easily, even if I turn out to be the Emperor of China. So let's stop all this nonsense about my belonging somewhere better. One day I'll prove to you how grateful I am for all you've done for me. You're sitting around for your soft oil leg head. Get to work. And you, get those mottles filled, you mangy floor mop. Oh. How I've hated wearing black. A whole year of it. One more day, and my widow's weeds would have strangled me. <laughs> Free at last. And the all-powerful queen of not one, but both kingdoms. Yours and Prince Charming's. <laughs> no woman ever possessed such power. You will arrange a national celebration to be held in my honor. And it must be the most extravagant in history. Ah, we now touch upon a delicate subject, Your Majesty. Your tastes could hardly be called frugal, and the exchequer is, in fact, empty. That's strange. I don't seem to recall abolishing taxation. On the contrary, you doubled the taxes in both kingdoms only a month ago. Well, then what could be simpler? Double them again. Now, the guests of honor for my celebration. Whom, after myself, will my subjects be most anxious to see? I'm afraid the Princess Snow White. No. It would be wise. People are asking why she's never seen in public. The people, the people. I command you to use your magic sword of power to blot Snow White from their memories forever. Madam, so powerful is the magic of this ancient sword that I dare not use its last three wishes, save in dire extremity. Are you defying me, Count Ogre? Never, Your Majesty. We must not waste the wishes of the sword. But she must be destroyed. You are forgetting, my dear lady. I can only invoke the magic of the sword for good deeds. Ah. Oh. That assassin, the one who rid us of Prince Charming, do you still trust him? Hordred the Huntsman. He wouldn't be alive if I didn't. Then send for him again. And this time, I want proof the deed is done. What kind of proof? Bring back Snow White's heart in this. A 
I'm on the Queen's business. Open the door. Your Highness. Hordred. What is it? Forgive me, but Linda, that maiden waiting you permitted to marry, is very, very sick. She's been calling for you. Oh, no. But I can't go to her. I'm a prisoner here. The Queen has granted you permission to visit her. I'm to take you there. When? When can we go? As soon as you go to your quarters and change. I'll, I'll hurry. Lies hidden just beyond those trees. Ah! Don't! Please don't! I can't. I can't do it. Forgive me, Your Highness. Forgive me. But why? Why should you want to kill me? The Queen. She's jealous of your beauty. You must never return to the palace. Understand, Princess? Now run. Run for your life. Run! Run, Princess, run! Never come back! Are we in Fortuna yet? Almost. I was just asking Quattro if any of the landmarks look familiar. Afraid not. Of course not. He was too young for it to register on his cogitative faculty. How's that again? None of the landmarks look familiar. But now we return triumphant. A command performance. That's right. Your big chance, Quattro. Yes, and if the Queen likes you, all the crown feet of Europe will be at your head. Arrived where? At our summer residence. That doll's house? 
Doll's house? That, my son, is the cottage of the Seven Dwarfs, just a few miles from the Queen's Palace. And ours, all ours. Oh, wait a minute. I thought you just said it belonged to the Seven Dwarfs. And so it does. But they're never here at this time of the year. And the last time we saw them, they gave us a standing invitation. All out. Get the stuff. We might want to rehearse. And the reason it's a standing invitation is because the beds are too short for us to lie down in. Anything is better than sleeping in the wagon. I'm all right. I sleep curled up in the ball. That's why you keep rolling out of bed. I can sleep on my head. Why not? It's full of feathers. <laughs> ah, a note. Prospecting in King Solomon's Mines, back by Christmas. Make yourselves to home. Sign the dwarves. Look, they didn't even lock the doors. After you. I still feel we're trespassing. After you. No, no. Après vous, mon brave. I insist. How do you like it? Oh, it's fine, as long as I remember to keep ducking. <laughs> Another little room in here. One of the dwarves is still here. Impossible. There must be a burglar. When I grab him, you three help me overpower him. Well, well, why, why wake him? Maybe he needs his sleep. I'll stay here. What's she doing here? The dwarfs must lend this place to everybody. Shh. Don't wake her. She's beautiful. Forgive us, miss. We didn't mean to wake you. Where am I? How did I get here? You're in the cottage of the Seven Dwarfs. But we don't know how you got here. We've only just arrived. Oh, I remember now. The Queen. She tried to have me killed. Please help me. I'm in terrible danger. Of course we'll help you, miss. But first, please tell us who you are. Snow White. Not the Princess Snow White. Yes. A real princess. Who are you? Well, we're just strolling players, Your Highness. But from now on, we're your bodyguards. That's right. You can count on us. Come what may. Ad infinitum. What brought you to our kingdom? We were sent for to give a performance at the palace. They're holding a big celebration tonight. But as soon as it's over, we'll take you wherever you want to go, where you'll be safe. Oh, thank you. Meanwhile, how about some breakfast? I'm famished. And I'm sure your queenship must be. I believe I am. Good. We stole a couple of... That is, we're mining some eggs for an absent-minded duck we ran into. I'll get them. I'll make the fire. I'll get some wood. I'll set the table. I can make bread if there's any flour. Flour? Flour? There's a whole barrel of it. Yeah. After you. Oh, don't start that. Go on, get it. Oh, uh, be careful. All right. Watch yourself. All right. Here, here. Here, I'll help you. I'm sorry. Here they are, one for each. carefully till I return from my ride. Yes, my lord. Also, the mountebanks who are to perform before the Queen tonight are here. Will you see them? You are the vagabonds that are supposed to make us laugh? Yes, Your Honor, if it please Your Long Honor. Long live Your Honor. Honor. You are hardly what I would call prepossessing to the eye. Thank you, Your Honor. What do you do? These gentlemen are magicians, sir. Very fine artists. Uh, Quattro here sings and entertains, Your Honor. Well, it's too late to hire anybody else. You will appear before the Queen at 8 o'clock tonight. We're flattered, Your Honor. We will eat in the kitchen with the royal servants. I hope I do not have to tell you to avoid all jokes in bad taste. 
Of course. The royal butler will compensate you at the close of your entertainment. I trust it won't be money down the drain. That is all. Thank you, Your Worship. You're very kind, Your Worship. Happy birthday, uh, Your Worship. <laughs> I'm so glad. I was beginning to get a little worried. Why? Has anyone been near the cottage? Not a soul. But I missed you. Hey, I wouldn't know the old place. I've never seen so much flower in my life. <laughs> is everything arranged for your performance? It certainly is. Tonight's the night. And Count Ogre's crazy about us already. Oh, I wish I could be there to watch you. So do we. Why don't we stage a performance right now for Her Highness's own special benefit? Please do. I'd love that. No sooner said than done. Jump to it, boys. A chair for Her Highness. Chair, chair. Instruments? Instruments. Your Highness. Curtain going up. Maestro, if you please. Your Highness, lords, ladies, and jelly spoons. It is a privilege to bring to you in person the one and only renowned president digitator and entrepreneur par excellence, Quattro the Great. <laughs> I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Uh, but allow me to correct an unpardonable boo-boo on the part of Maestro Mo. I am the only real brains here. I am Quinto the Mind Reader. I shall now proceed to tell your highness exactly what you're thinking. Quinto, you're appearing before royalty. Do you want your head chopped off? Why not? You've lost yours already. <laughs> <laughs> that will do. Please excuse him, Your Highness. He's not his usual self. How can I be my usual self when you're not your usual self? At least I know how to mind my manners. Hmm. I'll tell you what he's thinking, Your Highness. He thinks you're... No, you don't. Unless you want this to be your farewell performance. I'm not allowed to say one tiny harmless word to Her Highness. Definitely not. May I sing to her? Well, that can't do any harm. May he sing to Your Highness? I'd love him to. Gentlemen, a chord, please. Why am I dancing and singing? Because I'm in love. Why is my heart tingling? Because I'm in love. Why do I walk when it's raining as though it were sunny and dry? Must I explain all over again? I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love. Oh, in love, I'm in love, I'm in love, that's why. Everybody wants to be a comedian. Is that what you call minding your manners? Stealing my thunder? I beg your pardon, Quito. Apologize to the princess, not to me. Uh, forgive me, your highness. It won't happen again. I'll see to that. Play. Gypsy! Play! Please, Gypsy. Together. A one. A two. Must I explain all over again? I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love, so in love. I'm in love, I'm in love, that's why. I don't care what they say. I love you, dear princess. I love you. Fare thee well. Goodbye, dear Quinto. I love you, too. Now, don't worry, folks. It'll only be an April shower. Next, a concertina solo by Professor Curly Joe. That's what you... You shall be hanged, drawn, and quartered. Aye, Your Majesty, what have I done? Snow White is still alive. <laughs> <laughs>
Impossible. My mirror has just told me. And my mirror never lies. But you have a heart to prove it. This? This is the heart of a pig! <laughs> Then Hordid has betrayed us both. Guard! Guard! Seize Hordid the Huntsman and take him to the torture chamber. At once! More! More! Uh, stop! Stop! I can't bear it! Then tell us, why didn't you kill Snow White? Uh, I tried. I couldn't. I told her to flee for her life. Where is she now? I don't know. I, I don't know. I swear it. How many other times have you deceived us? What happened to the little prince you were supposed to kill? I suppose you let him escape too. No, no. He was rescued by three money banks. What? And he's still alive? Are you sure, man? Tell the truth. I am telling the truth. I did what you told me. I dressed him as a peasant so no one would know him. I was just about to finish him and throw him into the river when I was attacked by these three mountebanks. What three mountebanks? What proof do we have they ever existed? None. Uh, yes, my lord. They are the same three you talked to this morning. Those clodhoppers, you must be mad. No, no. I swear by my mother's name, I swear. But there were four of them. That youth. I thought there was something far too arrogant about his manner for a peasant. And he and the prince would be of an age. Your Majesty, fantastic as it may sound, I believe that fate has played the missing prince back into our hands. Those floors, I don't think they've been scrubbed for years. <laughs> That's because the seven dwarfs are bachelors. If anyone had told me yesterday that I'd be here with you today... I'm very glad you are. I... <clears throat> Quinto can think of nothing except you since he sang his heart out to you. You mean he really meant the things he said? Every word. He's a very sentimental fellow, Quinto. And he's fallen in love for the first time in his life. The very first time? The first and only time. Oh! We were waiting for that water. Yeah, we got the furniture all stacked up. I'm sorry. I must have been off on a cloud somewhere. I'll take that, son. You two can stay out here on that cloud. Hark! Who's his horse? I mean, horses' hoofs. It's the Queen's soldiers. Quick, you three, hide the princess. In the house, come no, on. No, no, that's the first place they'll look. Behind here. What about you? I'll stay here and have it direct them. It's you they're looking for, not me. Now hurry. This way, behind you. or you'll be slain. Have you helped, good sirs? You and your three confederates are under arrest. Where are they? Under arrest? Well, we've done no harm. There must be some mistake. Count Ogre does not make mistakes. He has found out that you are the pretender to the throne of Bravuria. Prince Charming. Find him. Why, uh, I'm very flattered, sire, but I'm of humble birth and never made any secret of it. You can tell all that to the proper authorities. Take him to the palace while we search for the other three. What will they do to him? You two search the cottage. If they offer any resistance, cut their heads off. I'll look out here.
Not the house, Captain. We're not in the wagon, either. Must have got wind of our coming and fled. Remount. After that. Like she tried to kill me. Don't worry, Your Highness. We won't let the Queen harm a hair of his head. How will we stop her? We'll think of a way. It better be good. She's after our scouts, too. First, we have to look after the princess. We can't help Quattro until we know her Highness is safe. We know that you are the prince. I am not the prince. I'm nothing but a strolling player, Your Majesty. And my friends are innocent. That man mistook them. Not me. I know they're the men who attacked me. We'll get to the truth soon enough. Old woman, you were nurse to the young Prince Charming before his disappearance. I was, Your Majesty, for all of his seven years. If he still lived, would you recognize him? Oh, at once, Your Majesty. He had a birthmark, like a crescent, right here on his chest. <laughs> very mark he is the prince your highness your highness i think that removes all doubt your majesty to the dungeon with him Here. Fresh vegetables for the Queen's table. Yeah. Think fresh this morning. What happened to the regular man? Oh, a crate of onions upset him. You mean he ate a whole crate full? No, it fell on him. Good. The last lot of onions he sent me, even a pig wouldn't eat. Maybe you just weren't hungry. that sort of thing to my underlings. And three, unload the vegetables. Ooh. A few holes in this make a very fine flute. You get the pumpkins. Hey, what's going on there? Oh, I'm the cool our shutting fathers. Where are you? Come in, stand, fight! Ah! Come in! Oh! At ease, my man! Salutation! And infinite! Food for the prisoner! You've come to the wrong cell. This man is to be executed. On an empty stomach? Don't be so unpatriotic. Ah, I don't hold with all this molly coddling. Hey, how come a whole loaf of bread for just one man? Because it's his last meal. Now, if it was me, I'd start off with oysters and white wine. Ah, <coughs> what is this obnoxious concoction? That's a sandwich surprise. Yeah, for the man who's eaten everything. Well, what are you trying to do, poison him? Poison him? That's the finest food in the Queen's kitchen. Uh. 
Hey, that's not for the help. Ah! What's the question? Ah! A file! Three blackguards tried to rescue the prince, your majesty, but they'll never get away alive. The prince? Has he escaped? Oh, no, not him, your majesty. He's dead as mutton. Dead? The prince, are you sure? Yes, my lord. I was about to cleave him with my sword when one of my archers felled him with an arrow. Bravely done. I shall reward you all. Now, bring me Snow White. I want her found before nightfall. Do you understand, Captain? Before nightfall. Yes, your majesty. Quattro. Yeah, he was just holding him off so we could get away. We better go back and see. No, we gotta get to Snow White before they do. Come on. Here, slide down this. Who oh, guards? Here are your villains. No! My sword, my magic sword! The prince! Thank God his heart still beats. We must hide him. That tunnel, it leads to the other side of the moat. Help me with him. that's in danger, Your Highness. We're just one jump ahead of the Queen's soldiers. Oh, quick, come with us. I'll get your capes and they won't know you were here. Inside, Your Highness, and keep well out of sight. You, get in there and hide her. And keep these doors locked. Get it all you got! Even if you haven't got it! 
can see us. Turn around, go back quick. Take the ocean road. Hot thunder. <laughs> It's every man for himself. Go! served our queen. Back to the palace. Go to the palace. Are we safe now? No, your highness. You won't be safe until you get out of this country for good. And there's no time like the present. Let's go. Without Quattro? Please, your highness. We're trying to do what he'd want us to do. Don't make it too hard for us. I can't run away while he's still in danger. But he'd want you to. Don't you see that? We die for you, miss. I, I mean, your highness. Please trust us. I'm sorry, but I can't go anywhere until I know he's... Another search party. Now we're really done. I wish we could say Alice Sabai and be on top of the highest mountain in the whole world. Are we still alive? Of course we're still alive. Otherwise, we wouldn't be freezing to death. It was Curly Joe. The highest mountain in the world, he said. And we're on it. You had to say the highest one. You got us up here, now get us down. That sword, where did you get it? Souvenir from Count Olga. Count Olga? Then it must be the sword of power. The what? The magic sword of power. Whoever holds it in his hand and wishes, his wish is instantly granted. Do tell. Now it's mine. I'm a hero. I saved us all. You may touch my sleeve. I'll touch your nose with my fist if you don't wish us off this mountain. Keep your distance, peasant. I am valuable. Oh, mighty sword, I wish us to be in a nice warm house with a great big blazing fire. I never thought I'd ever be warm again. I'm a genius, that's all, a genius. There's nothing I can't do. Then please, Curly Joe, wish for Quattro to be here, too. I'm afraid we can't do that, Your Highness. Why not? I thought you were his friends. We are, but, uh, you tell him, Mo. Well, it's like this. Quattro wouldn't want us to wish him here. 
Of course he would. It's no good, Your Highness. We just can't lie to you anymore. Not even to make things a bit easier for you. Tell me the whole truth. Please. None of us will be seeing Quattro anymore. The Queen killed him? She must be dead. Yet my fears and doubts still gnaw at me like rats. Oh, I must be calm. I must restrain my passions and keep my head. Keep my head. Snow White's life is done. Am I not the fairest one? Far away, though Snow White be, she lives and is more fair than thee. It's I who've been at fault. I underestimated the magic powers that protect Snow White's beauty. If she is far away, Your Majesty, she no longer constitutes a serious threat to your throne. Why not forget her beauty? Oh! How little you understand a woman's pride. has no revenge, I vow. Show me where to find her now. Here she lies, as you can see, with broken heart because of thee. How to get my hands on her? Count Ogre. Your Majesty. You will use your black art to transform me into a witch with power to find Snow White and to destroy her. No. No, I dare not. The risk to you is far too great. It is a command. Then on your own head be it. But the potion will take some time to prepare. All the more reason to get started. When the king was alive, you were free men. Look at you now, slaves, slaves to a queen so infamous, the whole land cries out against her crimes. Remember what she did to me, what she is doing to our beloved Snow White. It's time to rid our country of this tyrant. I give you my heart, my arm, my sword. Will you follow me? I to the death. Freedom from the queen. Snake, tail of a raft. 
Eye of toad and claw of cat. Deadly nightshade, hippo fat. Spider's eyebrow, wing of bat. Just right. Drain it. Drain it to the diabolic dregs. Working like a child.
the Princess Snow White. You will never find her this side of the grave. She is still alive, I know it. She's as good as dead. And so are you, sweet prince. <laughs> Has fallen. The queen is fled. You are rightful king at last. We await your first command, your majesty. Half my fortune to the man who finds the princess Snow White. A hunting we will go. A hunting we will go. Oh, Larry, Curly Joe. Wait, you forgot your lunch. Oh, so he did. We'd be lost without you, your highness. And I'd be lost without you. I wish we were more of us, and prettier. I wouldn't want you to be any different. I love you just as you are, all three of you. Gee, only our mother ever said that without laughing in our faces. Well, I mean every word of it. Now, promise me you'll take good care of yourselves. I've made all the things you like best. When it's lunchtime, I'll ring a bell. Inside, Your Highness, we don't want you catching a chill. Be good now, and don't be late. Cross our hearts. Goodbye, Your Highness. Keep the stove hot. We'll be home with enough fresh meat to last all winter. Aren't you going to kiss my hand? I always say it with flowers. Only one? I get tongue-tied. <sighs> Hi, ho, to Mary, ho, hunting we will go. Only old Gypsy Matilda, dearie. Ribbons and fancies fit for a queen. Far from poor old freezing Matilda. Oh, just a moment. Bless your kind heart, you lovely sweet dearie. You're my first customer today. Door slammed in poor old Gypsy Matilda's face, chased by dogs. I'm freezing. Oh, what a shame. Come in and warm yourself by the fire for a while. You're an angel of mercy. That's what you are, an angel of mercy. What a lovely fire. Thor of my poor old children. Here, sit down and make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Thank you, you precious child. Sit 
there by me. Now, what does your heart fancy? Huh? Ribbons? Laces? Choose anything you want to suit your pocket. I'm afraid I haven't any money. Oh, dearie, dearie me, that's a how do you do. But to reward you for your kindness to a poor old lady, I'm going to give you a nice little present. Did you ever see such a rosy red apple in these mountains before? It's beautiful. But I couldn't take it from you. But you must take it to please poor old Matilda. It's every bit as tasty and juicy as it looks. Take it. Take it. Just a teeny little bite. There's good, good girl. Good girl. Hunting we have went, we followed every scent. We even scared a polar bear. A hunting we have went, a hunting we have went. We followed every scent. <laughs> Even know you. And what's more, we don't want to. <laughs> you know what? What? I got a nasty feeling that old witch is mixed up with the queen in some way. The queen? I wish the queen would go to Hades and stay there. Princess, forgive us. We thought you'd be safe here. Almighty oh, sword, don't let Snow White die. We love her. Please, sword, please save her. We'll only ask this one last wish. We promise. Please help us, sword. We don't know what to do. We must have used up all the wishes. What news of Princess Snow White? Alas, none, Your Majesty. Then go back and search again. Your Majesty, we have scoured the land as far as men can travel. The princess has vanished as completely as if she had never been. Go back. Keep searching until you find her. <laughs> your Majesty, you would be kinder to yourself to give up hope. Never. Never while I live. Forgive me, Your Majesty, there's one source you've not consulted. What is that? While the Queen was still in power, it was said she learnt her secrets from a magic mirror in her chamber. That mirror is accursed. Merely to look on it is death. I beg, Your Majesty, don't go near it. I swore to leave no stone unturned until I find her. Show me the mirror. There, Your Majesty. Mirror, I beseech your help, no matter what the cost. In the name of love eternal, 
Show me where I can find my beloved Snow White. Where is she? Tell me where. On mountain high, beyond the blue, thy faithful heart will guide thee true. I thank you with all my heart. Sir? Don't you recognize me? It can't be. It is. It's Quattro. Quattro! <laughs> but we heard him say they killed you. You're not a ghost. No, I'm alive. A fall brought back my memory. I'm the king now. But it means nothing until I find Snow White. Is she here? Then take me to her. Quattro, we... We weren't able to protect her from the queen. She was so beautiful, we didn't have the heart to bury her. She's in here. Oh. 
streets are real.